Welcome again guys and in this video which is our like fourth video when it comes to HTML and CSS we are going to discuss some HTML fundamentals I know what you might be thinking probably we don't need to do it probably there is so much information outside there uh, that contain history of HTML but for me I thought if you want to be good at something know its roots, know where it comes from. And that's why I'm not going to make an assumption that you as my viewer, you already know this. What I'm going to do is to share to share it with you so that you can know where HTML came from, who built it, and where we, we are today when it comes to uh, HTML versions. I have a small presentation here where we are going to, I'm going to share with you. So let's have it. So we have um, my presentation here and uh, we are going to start with absolutely uh, where it all started, that is HTML basic. And maybe if you, you are new to HTML, you may be wondering what HTML really means. So it means it's a hypertext uh, markup language. You remember when I was talking about the cake analogy where we were talking about the tags and all that? This is what it, it means. It marks a web page. It, it has a certain structure. It has certain tags or it has certain rules that we use to structure our document. Who was the founder of this? Who came to with this uh I don't know, ingenious idea, let me call it ingenious. So we have this guy who is our father of everything. We call him the father of the web. He's Tim Banalis, this guy, this dude, I will say he revolutionized everything. In his 1980s, where scientists were fun to experiment with the web, communication between one lab to another. Tim Banalin came up with a paper that was published around 1989 89 there. And then uh, we had a history of HTML, that is the evolution of HTML. So the first draft of the first HTML was released in, let's say, 1990, 91, 92, and 93, we had the first version of HTML. And then around 1995, we went to HTML 2.0. In 1997, we had HTML 3.2. And then from there, we started having a little bit of a oomph in HTML world. So they released, in 1999, they released HTML 4.01. And then when it came to around uh, 21st century, around 2004 there, that's when we started having these, these groups, uh, the W3C and what WG group, they was they started working on the concept of web application. So, so we had web application 1.0. Then around 2006, they was experimenting with XHTML that never saw the light of the day because in 2008, it was dropped out and they started adopting what we call HTML5. Now going to 2011, 2014 there, then we have a, a, a first release card date of HTML, HTML5. And then in 2014, we have HTML5 adopted to fully what we know as currently HTML. So I will show you how we write HTML5 versus how they used to uh, to write HTML4. Technically, there will be no different to it. You won't notice it, but uh, there is a lot of things that have changed over the years on this thing called HTML. Now, I had to throw in a little bit of a bone into this because I realized as I was, I, I was learning HTML, I was asking myself, is there other languages like HTML? Do we have uh, something else to compare with HTML? And I noted there are a few things that are close to HTML and others really, really do completely like HTML. So I decided, let me add that one into this presentation. And let's have uh, this one that, um, we call, 
XML and SGML. So, and uh, the difference is it's very simple uh, because when it comes to XML compared to HTML, we are talking about uh, an XML uh, more it's on data side and more of uh, the way we format XML we use, they do not have like standardized tags. You can have it designed in the way you, you think you want things to be named. Unlike HTML, where we say if a tag is a paragraph, it is a P. For you, you can say it's a para when it comes to XML. And mostly people use it or it is used to define data and store, uh, and store data. Then an XGML is more of a scientist side, side of it, more complex, uh, uh, unlike unlike HTML, and it's mostly used on technical stuff and scientists use it. Then I realized there are other some technologies outside there that look more like HTML, and you will come uh, close to it, and maybe you saw something uh, when I was presenting the previous video that uh, look a little bit different. Uh, the, one of it is called Markdown, and then we have AMP. The difference is that AMD is more like a text one. That is, we, as a developer, we like to put our documentations in uh, Markdown files. In fact, if you saw that presentation, I was showing you a Markdown file where I was talking about VS Code, I even made some links, there are some headings. Technically what we do, we transpile that Markdown to HTML later, but in terms of presentability, it's more cleaner and more straightforward than HTML. So you find that developers, and you'll find yourself one day using this Markdown. So it's, it's kind of important to go and look at it, but these two, AMP and Markdown, they are not like HTML. It's not like XML and XGML. These are not different technology with different intentions. When it comes to AMP, AMP a language developed by Google to speed up loading uh, mobile applications, this one is more of a performance side and you find it in more of a, a technological side of mobile. But you, if you look at these two, Markdown and AMP, there is some sort of a, a kind of a relationship. More, they look like HTML, but they are totally different technologies. So that is it, guys. If you have any questions and you want to leave your comment, please is do at the comment section i love to hear from you and by the way if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please subscribe the talking dev need you we are still new here and we need people like you to comment share and like our our, our content so that is it until the next video where we we'll get more into the technical side see how we do stuff um, if you are completely new this will blow your mind because it, it is easy and straightforward and I I'm really looking forward to share with you a few things there so until that video 